Good day, my friends. My name is Tracy Repchuk, and I'm the host of Reach Millions TV, an entrepreneurial lifestyle and learning channel, where I will educate and introduce you to some of the greatest powerhouses in their fields. Now, as an entrepreneur for over 37 years, I've had the good fortune to appear in Forbes over 27 times, speak in 39 countries, appeared on NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, won awards from the Senate, the Assembly, the White House, and President Obama, written nine number one international bestsellers, and from that journey, I have reached millions with my message. So I wanted to make sure you knew how to do this too, with specialized trainings and by introducing you to the people that can help you find more leads, make more sales, and reach millions with your message. You can find out more about me at tracyrepchuk.com and reachmillionsacademy.com. Uh, now we're on step two of the three steps to planning. And uh, we're going to take a look at the actual goal setting. So uh, MRG kind of, it stands for minimum real and game changer. This is a method of always meeting your goals. And it's a, it's a nice starting point, especially if you're new to goal setting, to, um, to really start with something like this. That way, uh, you know, you don't get overwhelmed, you don't drop it because you feel like you're failing all the time or whatever tends to happen. Um, this helps to make it um, a lot easier. So remember this and let's take a look at it. Now, what I've done here is taken very, very simple numbers. I'm gonna have some people that are brand new starting out, you know, you're just starting your business, just ramping up. Um, and I have others that, you know, are making six and, and maybe even seven figures. It doesn't matter where you are, the concept is identical. I am using simple low numbers so that uh, you can start to track and monitor. All right, and that will allow you to also see how you are progressing in, in this uh, wonderful journey. So the first step one is to take your plan, which of course came a little bit from the last class, and now we're going to predict sales. Um, there is exercise sheets for this. And again, if you didn't get those, they are in the Facebook pages. And um, they, of course, will be, uh, for those of you uh, coming in and just watching replays, they will be right beside and available for you. All right, so it's going to start with a typical calendar, right? So in, in our case, you will you know, lay out your 12 months. And if we are where we are right now, if you are where you are right now, start on that month, okay? And, and move forward as if it's a brand new calendar year. Uh, no sense, you know, backtracking, that time has uh, gone. So let's say for this month, we wanted to do uh, $1,500, all right, in income. Now you will fill that with your MRG target, so the minimum. So uh, let's say your minimum is like, okay, I know I can make $1,500, okay? And so let's say you can sell one item at $1,500 or you can sell three items at $500. And you see the pattern, right? Or you can sell X items at $300, right? You could sell five items at $300. So you want to start breaking down and that's why the planning stage was an important one because you need to almost make a list of the assets that you have right now to sell, okay? So let's say for example, you had a, uh, you had done the course, right? The um, how to create an online course guaranteed to sell and you have an item for $300. You're brand new, you have nothing else. In this situation, you know you gotta sell five people at that kind of 297 uh, brand new going through it for the first time online course that you're creating, okay? So we can tie all of these together. Um, again, especially if you have no idea really what you're gonna do to make money, maybe you know, you, you've uh, moved from a, a career that currently no longer exists because of COVID or lockdown or whatever scenario has occurred. So let's say we're, we're moving everything aside and we're just gonna focus on the course. Now, doing this as well, just in your head and then you can 
doing it on this, when you're doing it on your company, it's hard to do it right now because you got to go through the books and you got to go, you know, get legitimate figures, etc. This is why we'll play. What if you went and did an online course exactly like I taught and uh, we're going to set the price at $297. That's what we do. And if we move forward now, what could that look like? Okay. Alrighty, so there's the minimum, right? Then you can, oops, <laughs> then you can have the, the real, what you said is the real. So let's say you sell three at 500 and the one at 1500. Um, uh, in this situation, you're saying that I believe that the minimum that I'm setting is also real, right? So how we always make the goal and always achieve that target is because one of the targets is the minimum. So you want to set that to something that you really are, are confident that you can make, but more importantly, confident that you're going to truly go for. You're going to make that happen, you know, if, if nothing else happens. You're going to really dedicate and focus your time to that. Then the game changer, okay? So then let's say, well, I'm going to sell three at 1500 right? That would just make my month. It would make me very happy. And so at three at 1500, that would be 4,500, right? If we're looking at the concept of our course, um, let's just uh, put that in there, 4,500 divided by, uh, let's say 4,500 divided by the 300. So in that case, that would mean you'd have a target of 15 people at the 297. So there we go, 15 people, 297. And that's extremely doable for a 30-day period. If you looked at people that went through that course, you saw people like Laura Armstrong sell 10. We had Diane Windsor. Uh, we had Elizabeth Cole. We had a lot of people that just took the course as we moved along, and they completed 10. And they only went as far as 10 because that is the first goal of the course. Um, but in, in this situation, if you want to go for 15 before you start, go right ahead. All right? And then, um, and, and see, in this case, they're saying sell three at 1500. Again, this is where you would need a product of that nature. Now, in the, uh, back to the online course guaranteed to sell, the upsell, which means the phase two, is actually a $1,500 item, so to speak, right? Um, and so if you were a little further along, you could say, I'm going to sell three of the upsell items and I call it the mastermind in that program. And I'm going to sell three of those at 1500. And then here's the, here's the uh, hint. It's just as easy to sell a higher priced item um, versus um, a lower. It is much easier um, and, and people, you know, sometimes think, oh, it's easier to sell lower. It is easy to sell lower and I do enjoy that. It just, just means you need more people though. So you, your reach is out this way, you wanna set some automation in place and things of that nature. Whereas, you know, finding three people is a heck of a lot easier. Now, in the course, I'm giving you this kind of spreadsheet that you'll be able to uh, download as well, okay? And so you'll just set your, your MRG goals, your minimum, your real, your game changer. And then what you'll start to do is write in your actual goal into the chart, okay? And then you'll determine your income and you'll start to track how close was my income to the goal, right? And it just, just needs to, um, as you're tracking and measuring, it makes you aware of things, right? It's one of those activities that a lot of people skip. They'll say, oh, I know I didn't make nothing, or I know I did this, or I know I did that. I can see what's in my bank. I can see what's happening. When you, when you really put that into a spreadsheet and you truly look at it, or the type of people that do their books, you know, weekly, do their statistics weekly, et cetera, um, then it really becomes a easy way to track and monitor. And so that's a uh, good, 
good way to keep your confront up, keep you uh, putting your attention where it needs to be, right? That which you put your attention on grows. If we're going to put our attention on making money, then that's the activity that's going to start to uh, grow. All right, and next of the three steps to planning is the action. Okay, great, you've said all of these, right? You'll, you'll do that for all 12 months, and then um, now, you do, now you have to do it, right? So now you've got your numbers sitting there. Let's say it was this you know, um, uh, $1,500 number. Now, how are you gonna do that, right? So now you gotta select the market strategies to do, and again, this goes back to that planning step where you said, what market strategies am I doing? What market strategies should I be doing? And work on those. Then you'll introduce new ones um, as you really start to get procedures in place. And then um, if you're uh, brand new, you can um, start to add a, like what's called a free strategy session to pull clients in. Um, that's always a, a really good one because it's super simple to do. You don't have to have any complex funnels or you don't have to have any marketing strategies in place. You simply say, hey, are you having a problem with this? Well, I'm offering a free strategy session on how to overcome XYZ or how to improve your income or how to uh, build a better relationship or how to become a leader, whatever it is, right? And so you'll do that, you'll get them on a call, you'll listen to their main pain point, and then from there, you can say, well, you know what? I am doing this brand new course. Um, it, it's you know normally gonna be about $1,000. It's 12 weeks with me. Um, but because this is gonna be my first time through and it's a pilot, um, I can offer it right now for $297 and I'm going to be able to spend the next 12 weeks and we're going to address this issue that you have. Okay. So that is um, a nice and simple way if you're at starting from ground zero right now to move your way through. And then step two, you're going to take your plan and create the steps to make that happen. So now we've got the, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Now you really have to get more detailed. You're going to write the steps and activities needed to make those things happen. And then you're going to implement that strategy each month. Now, one of my favorite tools, and it's free to use and start with until you get extremely complex, um, which most people don't, is Trello.com. It helps you to um, lay out and plan um, all of the steps in, in a cycle. And it helps you to create checklists that you move into a board and, um, and then you can follow those every single time to move, to track and monitor the flow of people, to track and monitor the steps, to track and monitor um, and make sure that checklists are getting done. You know, for every email funnel that's built, there's 15 steps for the email part of it alone, right? Then there's landing pages and there's this. So all of this is in a board so that each time we do it, it, it um, helps to uh, ensure that the activity is carried out properly. You can start to do that. Um, and what's great is, you know, three, four months down the line as you're repeating and duplicating and bringing in checklists again and refining the process, um, it just helps get you better and better and better at doing the things and recognizing what's working, what's not working. In many cases, you remove a lot of the guesswork because you can see, wow, you know, I did, uh, I did, uh, you know, 10 BK requests and I met with three people. And as a result of that, um, I got a client, right? And so that's an activity you're going to keep up. And so you want to start to track and monitor that. Now, today's lesson, and as I said, they're, they're gonna be nice and quick as we go forward, is really now about staying profitable. So let's take a look at, there's four main ways to really start to reach out and expand your um, uh, targets and, and, and things of that nature. So the first one, of course, is the internet. Um, and kind of social media will bundle those together. So as you're doing your planning, 
you want to be sitting there going, okay, well, I, especially when you're planning out that marketing um, strategies, well, okay, I've got this now, but in the future, I want to reach more people. So in the future, perhaps I need a landing page and an email marketing funnel so that I can handle the volume in order to convert to whatever it is your program and service. So you just want to maybe write that down or you might say, I need to do a full rebrand. I've changed the direction that I'm going. I know my website needs to have a, a new look and feel or you can simply say, this is great. I've got my website, it's ready to go, and then move to future options, okay? Now, um, and such as social media, which is part and parcel of that. The social media aspect, I want people to remember, in general, social media is a brand awareness activity. You can add sales and selling to it only 20% of the time. We're at the 80-20 rule and then you will create that kind of environment of that. So um, there are those habits will start to come in. And again, that's why a 30 day marketing social media calendar is always a good activity so that you can start to see, oh, this is good on um, these posts I'm doing promotion, on these posts I'm doing um, uh, selling. Because often people don't intersperse a sell in there. Now that doesn't mean you're asking for the sale. It means you're sending to leads, a lead generation capture system. You're, you're offering a discovery call. Again, almost a lead generation to a conversion cycle or you're just focused on, or if you have a low front end offer, you can, you can make that. Or if you have an actual landing page, you can say, hey, go here, right? And, and go to there. The less the barrier, the easier the capture of a lead, okay? Um, and so um, the next uh, three, I'm going to be talking about a little bit in, it, in the chart, in a chart scenario. The next three are ways to expand your reach big. So what do you wanna do when you expand your reach? The bottom line is don't expand your reach unless you've built the foundation. It won't be able to handle it. It's like Facebook ads, it's like anything of that nature. If we were to pour on a lot of leads, could your site and could you handle it at this moment? And you wanna be looking at that as you're um, assessing doing the others. So if we take a look at my next activity, of course, was the book. A book is the world's greatest business card, right? A book isn't a income stream per se. You have to be pretty um, rare to, to live in the space where your book is your income line, okay? And it's not that it's not happened. Um, it's just that be aware of that because it takes a heck of a lot to get a book out there, to, uh, you know, I mean, publishing today is I, obviously super simple. You're writing a book, you upload it to Amazon, yay, you're a published, you're a published author. The thing, the thing that's hard is selling it. If it took you two years to get that book, that's still the easy part, right? The hard part is selling your book and I come from experience, right? I've got nine number one international bestsellers. Um, I can tell you um, they, they came with great care and planning and marketing in place, right? My first book, uh, the 31 Days to Millionaire Marketing Miracles, when I released it as a self-published book before Wiley picked it up, um, I had 3,500 people in a database waiting to buy that book, right? I had, I had created that database before and during the writing process, telling them this is what's happening, I'm writing a book, here and, and feeding them data and giving them little tips and tricks along the way until they were excited about buying the book. When I did it, remember, there was no, hey, buy it for 99 cents, help me go bestseller. There was, you know, again, 5,000 books in a garage, 
I had to personally ship them in the beginning and then I got a warehouse to start to ship them. But that was cost and cost and cost. In the beginning, there was no money in the book. It was practically a lost leader. Then when you go with a publisher like I am, your royalty is practically nothing. You, you, <laughs> you want to make less than money, go with a publisher. I went with a publisher though, that was part of my strategic plan to increase my authority and credibility. Um, but is a book good? Yes, a book is great if you look at it as a business card. All throughout my book, I'm driving to landing pages. I'm driving to, to lead capture mechanisms to constantly be filling my database, okay? Um, and then of course, I'm constantly also promoting in there ways to reach out. Hey, you like all this landing page technology that you're reading about? You know, come to the, come here and, and learn on a blog post or come here or contact our office and maybe we can um, accelerate, accelerate um, the rate at which you do one of these. You've read about it and if you don't have time, why don't you just have it, us build it for you? There was a lot of nuance throughout the book like that. So it was always setting up my services. At the same time though, I gave away the farm. The answers are in there. You want to know how to go to A to Z on internet marketing? Go buy the book, right? It's all there. Um, then, of course, speaking, that, that um, gorgeous task of being in front of audiences and, and really getting your message and really feeling the impact because you can see their faces um, is, is a huge joy. And if you're a speaker or you want to be a speaker, it's, it's a fantastic activity. Here's the thing though, people aren't paying for speakers to show up anymore. It is actually reversed. You in many cases are paying to play. That's how it's called pay to play. So it means you're, 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 you're paying to get time on someone's stage. So if that's the case, you better be darn good at converting that process, right? Converting that time. Um, and so how do you do that, right? You have to drive to landing pages. You have to drive to um, webinars afterwards. You have to do things that are automated, you know, capture onto your phone um, um, and, and have them text and, and receive a free gift. You have to have a strategy in place to capture them so that you can move them through the buying process. Now, of course, if you're a corporate speaker and you're getting paid to show up and talk, that's great. But here's the thing about only that model and you're going to tap out, which means you're going to hit an income threshold in many cases in which you're constantly having to go out and get a gig and get a gig and get a gig and get a gig in order to earn enough income um, to be sustainable, right? And so you, the, to have a split in that model is often a good thing. So you can take advantage of doing webinar types of doing um, and doing in our case right now, virtual speaking uh, and being able to convert and leverage the time. Otherwise it's just time, right? And then last but not least, TV and publicity is when you are pouring in the fuel on top of uh, on top of something that you're doing and you're increasing your credibility and authority if there are different markets that you're going to need that in uh, to in order to get into and that is of course kind of the the final um uh the the final way to really expand one year i i reached 20 million uh people in viewership from my live tv appearances and on one, peer, one, one appearance, which was about five minutes, I got 673 opt-ins. So that's, you know, you want to be ready. All of these are fantastic strategies that need a strategy in place in order to optimize opportunities. So you just want to take a look at that. Now, here's what I'm going to, here's, here's kind of really your lesson for today, right? And it's all about creating the vision of where you're going to be going with your business, with this current opportunity, whatever it is, all right? And so the key here is having a core niche and then dispersing what you're able to do through different income streams. Now, historically, we were taught, hey, it's good to 
um, you know, disperse your income and have this going on and that going on. And, oh, I got a rental properties over here and I'm doing this right. Um, in order to kind of distribute the wealth or ways that you make money. What occurred when the internet really locked in is there was a way to do this. There became a very simple way to do this simply by keeping on your core niche and using the different elements of uh, distribution in order to bring that, uh, bring in income. So for example, if we take a look at this, right, in this situation right here, if all I did was, was be a speaker with my core niche, I could be in, in very deep trouble considering um, all of my entire year's worth of speaking gigs were wiped, right? And so as we move forward, um, if that's all I had, that it means people in that situation are extremely struggling right now. But what if you had that core niche and you spoke about it and you did webinars about it and you did a course on it and you up leveled that cor those course people to a mastermind and you set up a membership site and you did workshops on it and you did up level group and up to one in one coaching right on that topic. Now you've distributed it to where if one artery shuts down, you're okay, right? And so in many cases, the speaker artery shut down, right? Seminars and workshops in the beginning were all halted. Now we're in a virtual situation where we're doing them. So this is back up. Uh, but there was, you know, a three and four month period there where people were getting grooved in on how do we take the workshop we were doing before in front of a live audience and now get people to show up and watch it um, and things of this nature. Courses are booming. It's why I'm teaching about it because it's so important. Um, courses are absolutely booming. And so that's one of the uh, core elements and why I'm teaching it because we need to jump on trends that are occurring and go down that path for as long as we can until it starts to convert and until you start to get a formula in place. And so I gave you the complete formula for the course, which also includes the seminar and workshop, which also includes the mastermind, which also includes coaching. And it also includes webinar. I then also gave you the complete training for how do you do a webinar. So I have satisfied multiple of these um, uh, uh, distribution methods to make sure you have a well-rounded income stream so that you can be successful um, no matter what the economy brings, all righty? So in your lesson, you're going to fill out your own income wheel. So again, if you haven't done the first class, you're going to go through that. You're going to fill all of the data out that will help you now roll out your income uh, planning, the actual numbers, and what are you going to sell uh, in, in that, if you're a singer, you can sell singing lessons. You can create a singing course, right? If you are a, um, uh, let's, let's say you're a landscaper, in many cases, maybe you have to switch entirely or you can look for other opportunities on how could I create a landscapers membership where we all, where I teach you how to, you know, get um, 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 people to um, hire you, right? Whatever it is, there, there's things that you, and adjustments everyone is pivoting on. Uh, you know, I, I know people in here that were massage therapists and now they're leadership coach trainers with a course and a mastermind and a and an event and uh, coaching right so people have had to pivot massively and what i've done here is um is really a a great part of that okay um on how to distribute and take the knowledge that you have in your head because this is the one piece nobody can touch right they, you know, maybe, maybe we can't go out and do what we've normally done. Well, you still have this and we have the internet. And that's why this is a, a medium and distribution method for that. Uh, but again, if you're, you got your business and everything's uh, going uh, the way you want it to, and you know, doesn't matter the circumstances, you can grow and scale, do that as your income wheel. And what's the bottom line as well is to stay focused. Mm -hmm.